Okay, guys, I want to let you know something right now. Uh, the game crashed on me right after this section, which really pissed me off because there was actually some good reactions. Something big does happen in this scene, and yeah, the thing crashed on me at the very end because the frame rate couldn't handle the goddamn... I don't know. I'm pissed off, right? And I'm really pissed off because they were good reactions, so I'm not going to fake it. I'm not going to try and redo it again, just to make it seem stupid. I'm just going to play through the scene again. Why? Seriously. It, it had to crash, in it? It had to freaking crash at the very end. So pissed off when stuff like that happens. Seriously. Started doing it today. I started filming Arkham Asylum today. The power goes out. So I had to start that over again. And then the game just decides to crash. I'm probably just, I'm just gonna stay quiet. Ruth, I, I, there's not, I, there's not, I'm not gonna redo my dialogue, all right? I'm, I'm just gonna stay quiet and I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna choose the decisions I, I did before. Left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. I won't do it. Bruce. This is my company. My name. And that name is exactly why we're in this situation. This isn't a request, Bruce. I ask to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. Well, you should have fought harder. The board would have listened to you. They'd already made up their minds. I did what I could. You have to trust me on that. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Here's the big reveal. That was actually a good reaction, and yeah. Oswald Cobblepot. Mm-hmm. Bro, yeah, so wow. boy. Good to see you again. What a surprise. What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were... Well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... This is a joke, right? You're not qualified to run a company. Now, Bruce, is that any way to treat an old friend? I'm just trying to help. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. I refuse to hand my company over to a criminal. Don't do this, Bruce. Oh, don't worry now. I'm going to take good care of this place. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and, and I can here we it. go. No trouble. <laughs> Bruce! I need security in here right now. No, what was that This is for? a disaster. You've lost your bloody mind. 
What was that Ooh, for? Just this. shut up. You shot them there, all right? You Get shot them out. Of my you office, sack of Mr. dildos. I'm so sorry, Mr. Copperpot. I'll go fetch the medic. That's very kind of you, Regina. Thank you. And this is where the game crashed on me. Just right there. Sorry. I I get so I get so angry when that stuff happens. I get so angry. Bruce, they're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. He shot them up. All right, he's a. Down there, Bruce. Ugh. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Think you can keep an eye on things while I'm gone? I I don't know. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. Mm. Oh. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But... I can't risk Cobblepot finding out what I'm up to. No, he's coming with me. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. Thanks, Lucius. I don't need no new toys, all right? Keep that drive safe. I am good as can be. As long as the game doesn't crash again, I, I'll be completely fine. Oh my god, I'm not gonna get over that, seriously. I'll stop talking about it. I just, I hate when things like that happen, and when a game's frame rate doesn't, you know, catch up with the with what's actually happening. That's a problem. Bruce Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. Yeah, I wouldn't mind easy for a change. Someday. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Alright, so let's... Go through the drive them. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. What is this frame rate? If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It's chugging so much. Do you it see this? It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Oh, I Built so over possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. What, is this a joke? Is this a joke? Did you see that? Oh my god. Alright, it doesn't Patients matter. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. City Hall, record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long, it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't there. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. So he faked his death. What an idiot. Um, yeah, Gotham that one. Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. And the GCPD. 
wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. All right, wait, didn't we already look to see Hollow, right? I've seen enough. Yeah. I have to go. Oh my God! Me. Whoa, the like. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. I heard there were frame rate issues on this episode. Very good, sir. You can definitely tell. Don't you dare crash. There we go. There you go. Be good boy. Oh, we're back to... Oh. This is where uh, everything went down in episode one. Has that glass been repaired? Or I don't know. Oh, Mr. Wayne. Welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah. Yeah, just get it done. What? No. No, no, no. No press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Yeah, I want to talk to him about, you know, killing the man okay, with yeah, his we'll fists. Talk later. Oh, he's built like a I'm house, though, isn't he? Wicked. Uh, hey, Harp. Jesus! Whoa. Don't sneak up on people like that. Oh, God. I yep. wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Oh, Harvey. Relax. It's me. Yeah. Yeah. No, sorry. It's, I've been really jumpy lately. Nerves. Wonder why. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Uh, good. No, that's, that's good. You can never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. I'd be loved and supported, but this. What? Well, I don't know. It just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. Why? It's like I don't fit. It's like I don't deserve it. Well, Gotham's last mayor was Hill, so the bar's pretty low. Can't be too hard, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah, thanks. I guess. Yeah. Wow. I didn't expect. I didn't expect that's what he was gonna say. Jesus. Christ. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the. Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me. Jesus, man. Are we being watched? What is going on? Look, don't freak out, but I think the children of Arkham are listening in on you. You're in danger. Yeah. They could have tabs on everything that goes on in this office. Who you're talking to, where you're going, everything. Damn it! God, I knew it. I knew it had to be true. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate and they will try again. How yep. am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there in the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped. Would he still be doing this if he was actually two faced? Jeez. Everywhere I go, I am terrified. I'll turn a corner and come face to face with the children of Arkham. So get rid of them. It'd be easy for the mayor of Gotham to make them outlaws. Declare the children of Arkham public enemy number one. Everyone in Gotham will want to turn him in. Yes, great. But how? I don't have nearly enough force behind me to bring them to heel. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. Maybe break a few bones along the way. Oh, he's turning Two-Face now, isn't he? Something's holding him back. Is he still going to become the Two-Face? Imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. I think he will. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's oh. the only one getting anything done in this city. 
eyes. Imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. You're going very we can psycho. Use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. They won't see it coming. Whoa, 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 Harvey, calm down. You're the mayor of Gotham, not the tyrant. <laughs> like you know any better, Wayne. Wow. We know what's best for Gotham. What's best for Harvey? Who is we? Oh, God. No, he is. How? What? Oh, Sorry. no. Sorry, Bruce. I, I did not mean that. Oh, he's going to become Two-Face regardless, I isn't just, he? Uh, I, I guess I lost myself for a moment. He was never. He's never gonna have. He's never gonna um, have the Mr. face. Dent, but yeah. The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. So he's never gonna have the face, but he is Two Face. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. Wow. I was just, you know, thinking out loud. That's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the, the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Call therapist, motherfucker. Jesus. Look, Harvey, that therapist you told me about. I think you should call her. Maybe she can help you work through whatever this is that you're going through. Just think about it, okay? <laughs> Bad grow that. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. Maybe he will. I mean, it's Telltale. He'll, it's like, oh, say the, like in The Walking Dead, save. Stay around, Bruce. It's like, save a character in one episode, then they die in the next one. It's like, oh, you save Harvey from turning into Two Face, he turns Two Face regardless. So maybe he will become Two Face by the end of this episode, or maybe the next one, but. He is Two-Face. He's got that split personality thing going on right now. An that was... interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. That was good acting right there. I'll, uh, you know what? Nice one. You did good there. I forgot the voice actor who plays... Who plays Dent, but I know he's a good friend of uh, Troy. Uh, Troy have Baker. Have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Vicky might end up giving Bruce Wayne the runaround. After all, a reporter rarely reveals her source. But an interview with Batman, that might be enough to sway her. After all, it did work with Mayor Hill. Oh, wait, we're gonna be I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. <laughs> Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Oh no. Good idea, sir. Oh, Can you I'm scramble the line. Oh, I'm going away. evil. I'm going evil and I don't like it. I'm trying to make the right decisions, but Bill. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. Oh. I want to talk. Who who is this? Yeah. I'm Batman. Hello? Batman. I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say I was a fan just said I wanted to talk. Because I'm Batman. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. Because I'm Batman. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Oh, man. Because I'm Batman. I'm Batman. Oh, God. We're back at this. This crap hole, come on. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy. I need some information from you. It's important. <laughs> yeah, figured as much. So, <laughs> Batman. I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite Turn that off. using their power often at the expense of ordinary Turn citizens. Turn that off. Now. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? Turn that shit no. off now. I don't Get want up. this conversation recorded. I thought we were here for an interview. Turn it off. No. Fine. My God. Their message is picking up traction, especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If 
That's the only reason you called me. You should really just read it yourself. I'm gonna be going. Gotham needs to know how we need. We need. We need the, the answers. All right. Really are. You are hiding the. We truth. need the answers. Huh? My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. Wow. But that's why I'm here. <laughs> to get the other half. You, wow. That's Where did you meet? How oh. did they contact you? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. Oh my god. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. I'm going to need you to be more helpful than that, Miss Vale. <sighs> Save the dramatics for those who deserve it. Bruce wow. Wayne would be a good start. I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but with the information that surfaced, hey, he's not. everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. I'm not protecting Bruce Wayne. Maybe not. But in this case, doing nothing sure sends a strong statement. Don't think people haven't noticed. I'm not stupid. I know you have some connection with him. That data oh, drive he gave yeah. me? That was from you. A big connection. You can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. We basically have the same blood as well. It's crazy. So, what are you going to do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. That's enough questions. Yep, that's it. <sighs> Fine. If that's how you feel. You were cool in episode one. Of Arkham. You were cool in episode one. Now you. Message gets out. Jesus Christ! Don't make me hurt you. I'm just gonna no. <gasps> Let me buy. <gasps> Holy shit! <laughs> God, I could lose my job for this, but here, this is where we met for the interview. All you need is a luck. Please, don't. Tell anyone I gave this to you. All you need is the luck. You are a lot better in episode one. Can I tell you that now? Oh, you could have been so ruthless then. Don't make me hurt. Wow. I want the answers, but fuck, man, no. No.